How do you use Fusion 360's offline mode? What can it do? What are the capabilities? And what are the gotchas you need to know about? Coming up. Hey, this is Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today we're talking about Fusion 360's offline mode. So let's just jump right into it. I've got a file that I need to work on and maybe I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna commute home I'm going to get, you know, on an airplane and maybe the Wi-Fi is going to be really spotty. I'm going to go to a cabin and work. Whatever the scenario is, Fusion does have an offline mode. You can access it here with this job status tool. And you can see that I am working offline. So when I click this green, by default, it's going to go online. Okay, so where do you find information about the offline mode? You can jump into the help or look at it here. Okay, so some reasons that it's gonna trigger the offline mode that they mention is any kind of unexpected outage that does happen with Fusion from time to time, or if you don't have internet connection or they're doing maintenance. All right, so it's worth noting that Fusion 360, although the offline mode, I think it's really cool that it offers this. It's not a true browser CAD tool. It's kind of a hybrid cloud desktop application right so um i love that there is an offline mode but i think it's worth noting it is limited right there's some things you can and can't do so let's look at that all right so now that we're in offline mode when i look at this i can see these three grayed out designs and that's telling me that none of them have been cached locally so how do we fix that if we jump back in and trigger our online mode and i'm kind of anticipating going offline or you know traveling or whatever the reason what I want to do is get these ready and there's lots of ways I can do it. One is the simplest is just double click and open the file. Now that it's open, this is going to be cached and available to me. So let's test it. Go to offline mode. I notice these are still, these are now grayed out because they've never, they haven't been cached, but this one is, it's available, right? So I can, you know, verify, I close that still there. I can open this, work on it offline. On any of my projects that I've started, I can cache the entire project or at any time I can find a specific design, right click and add to offline cache. There you go. So you can kind of hand pick and keep in mind if you do have a design that references other designs, it will cache all of them uh, except for drawings. I think drawings have to actually be opened or you know chosen as cache. Okay, another huge gotcha. Fusion 360 has all of this great cloud technology that they solve for. One of those is exports and file translation. So one thing to be aware of, this is a huge one. I've, I've seen a lot of this in the forums. Ready? Here we go. When I go to file, save as, or export, you get the entire list, but it doesn't work, right? DXF, no. OBJ, no. The only thing that it can export as is the Fusion Native or the parametric style of file export. So you can do IGIS and SAT and STEP. You can't do STL. That's, you know, it's a mesh file. It's a different type of file. So serious file translation, you need to be in online mode to be able to do this. Okay, another thing to be aware of with Fusion 360 and the offline mode is the amount of saves right so you can save as many times as you want so if i you know were to add a little hole here and make a change you know modify this great and now i want to save that i'm working offline i hit save it's going to allow me to save it it doesn't track versions. It's only going to save all the little changes you made. So if you're used to using versioning with Fusion 360 where you're able to track and go back and promote and kind of work between the different options, you can do all that in online mode. So again, adding another feature. If we do that, this is going to get added. And if I hit save, all of those versions are not being tracked. You just whatever was saved last, that will go into the design. So now that if we go back online, I expect this latest and last save to be saved in as my latest version. You can see it's kind of updating now. It's now saving into the data panel. 
took about 30 seconds and now I have these versions to look. You can see even the notes from, uh, di you know, it dynamically notifies you that this was from an offline mode save. And I've kind of gone in and out of this uh, particular design, I think a few times. So a few other things to be aware of, Fusion 360, you need, you know, most Autodesk products for that matter, you need to come check back in within two weeks. <laughs> So if you're considering Fusion 360 for using a tool always in offline mode, it is not a great fit, right? You have to check in every two weeks as well as what we saw, the file export limitations, all of the different cloud solve technologies that are available and very cool with Fusion. Those don't work. So definitely look elsewhere if you need an offline tool all the time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below what, what videos you need to see on Fusion or any other technology tutorials. Thanks so much.